Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It with me, Nihai Hobo. And again, it's reset our uh, achievements. <laughs> Still don't know why that's happening. Um, you may notice it's quite windy up here. Uh, you can actually... S I don't know whether that, that's clouds glitching out. Yeah, it is clouds glitching out. I thought it might have been the... Uh, the wind as it shot past us. Um, the reason it's so windy is because we are atop of, when it spawns in, quite the hill here. Um, I know what you're thinking. That isn't where we left off last time. That isn't the beautiful flat plains that uh, you said you were going to um, going to live on. Well, you're absolutely right. It isn't. Um, and good spot. What happened was the the quarries dug down quite a decent way and um, let's go to sleep uh, as well and uh, there was no um, tech it ores that came up whatsoever so I dug up the quarries and we continued to move um, until we saw oil and then I continued to move some more and so on and so forth and um, yeah we uh, we got to here and this is where we set our quarries off um, they've given us uh, well I have been taking out of this as well to, to do things like build this I'm gonna go through everything in a second first of all though we're gonna have a look and see what our quarries have done and they've not gone too far um, so I want to start alleviating our dependency on coal because I'd like to use that for EMC now. So what we've got is three solar panels and seven, no, no, I couldn't count there, seven uh, windmills. I'm going to add a couple more to that as well, powering this bat box. Um, also to alleviate it further, we have obviously the macerator hooked up. I bought a condenser and I'll explain why in a, uh, sorry, compressor and I'll explain why in a minute. And also an electro furnace. Let's get this thing off the screen. Um, so, oops, don't throw your sword away. So the electro furnace now can start alleviating the pressure. Uh, so the reason I've got the condenser looking at it there uh, the compressor, sorry, is because I wanted an energy link. Um, and you can stop screaming at the TV, the monitor screen, because I know I used the wrong type of pipe here. So that's what we're going to start with today. Um, outside of eating. And getting our pickaxe. We'll dig this cable back up, which is fine because I don't, I, I prefer using this for. Um, microchips because um, we're going to build some more solar panels very soon as well um, also we're going to look at the hydro farm um, hydro energy farm that is not a, um, a food farm uh, I also built a world anchor so that these can continue running we're not going to stay here um, I'm going to dig these out um, we're not going to move too far either though I'm thinking we're going to pop pop ourselves back down here because we're now surrounded by jungle biomes and we all know what I think about those but certainly I want to dig some of this mountain out first um, so uh, don't know why I'm going there we need wood uh, let's have a look see what's in my alchemy bag one stone axe in fact you because I don't think we're going to run into any trouble anytime soon we can all go in there and start getting repaired um, along with my tree tapper I know they're cheap to make but they're um, we need the wood for other things and I do have a second one and they repair so quickly as well in fact actually the sword's already done Anything else out there just yet? Just see if these ones have got anything on them. At least it's a bit less windy down here, a little quieter. Right, 
I know Jerome was saying that he was having trouble getting his wind farms working, so I don't know whether it's worth going back and, and stealing those if he's not using them. But he's, uh, he's not on today, so uh, I can't ask him. We're going to need vast amounts of rubber as well, because we're going to need vast amounts of insulated cable. We're also going to need a Theosaurus. Um to vastly improve our vocabulary, vastly. <clears throat> so I'll go again with that. We're going to need copious amounts of resin, because we're going to need extraordinary amounts of um, insulated cable. There we go. Pig sheep! Pig sheep! We saw that yesterday. I didn't actually think it would be here for a recording. But, um, happy days. It is. Um, I'm sure one came off that I didn't collect. We have a tendency to fall down these things. Hello, Mr. Pink Sheep. I'm glad I didn't kill you yesterday. Don't know what it is. See, a pink sheep brings out the violent side in me. That son of a bitch can't live! Um. Yeah, so as you can see, our hunt for wood is going well. That's uh, what we came down here for. Oh shit, I didn't see that. I didn't. Uh... Okay, we're going to need a, a bit of extra, um, bit of extra wood this time. That's what she said. Just to make another tree tapper up. I'm just going to take these leaves out here, so I know this is a, a tree of which I have exhausted for the time being. It's going to leave a very odd shape on the front. Oh, this might be a good place for the hydro farm. So he's going to build one. See, this is where we were going to build in the first place. Um, and, uh, yeah, there probably would be, uh, what's its face, um, <coughs> tech it all's down here. But I think some of these caves I explored, and the rule was, if I didn't see copper, we weren't going to go with it. So I don't know, maybe this is going to be a location we can could pull back to. Um... Ooh, that was close. Hmm, might be worth... Might get a mining laser and a jetpack and come back and have a look at this. That might be the idea. More... More torches? Yes. <clears throat> Can't go down there. Not yet. We will do. We may do. We may will do. We will do. Um, so it seems like just a network of Swiss holes through a mountain rather than actually any sort of cave system. I mean, there is marble. There you go, it's copper. So, yeah, we possibly could pull back to this then. <clears throat> yeah, okay, we'll consider this when we finish digging out these quarries. So, we'll, but we'll continue with our, our mission to become dependent, um, to uh, release our dependency on coal. 
Oops. Didn't see you there. Go get some of these trees then. I'm gonna want to build some shears at some point. Can we? Yeah, we can. Because wool carries quite a decent EMC, I found. So I think it's worth having. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Where are you going? Hmm, secret entrance, hey? No, not really. Oh, so this is what he was trying to do, he was trying to pathfind on me. I think I might have messed up the graphics a little bit on this. Uh, the graphic settings. Right, again, we're getting distracted, let's go. Go get our because it's becoming night time. Yes, achievement getting wood because we've got this far in the game without getting any of that stuff. As you can see, as well, <clears throat> by this point now, then we are about 500 meters away from home, so we've come a fair distance. Um, I think it's an off camera. Um, job getting back to spotlight people now. They better have something damn worth seeing. You hear me, Freddy? You hear me, drone? Okay, that'll do for the time being. <clears throat> That's one thing we haven't done, is marked out. May as well finish fishing up... Um, fishing up wool, as we're here. Um, That's one thing we haven't done, is marked out our, um, our new home. We simply know about it because of... Um, trees, odd-shaped trees. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this better grass. I put it on, thinking it would be better, and I'm not. I'm not convinced. I don't like these all green blocks. It's going to keep doing that, like isn't it? It's going to keep on giving me achievements that I don't want. <clears throat> You wouldn't really mind it too much if they were actually worth something, but they're not. That's the thing. See, these are the other caves that I went and had a look through as well, um, to little avail. So, let's get some sleep on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and we can also drop you, and you, and you, and you, and you, because we're going to need you for a bit glass We've got 37 glass that's fine so we need um, oh, that goes in the middle oh no we need to uh, turn these into wooden planks first um, 
In fact, actually, we should only need one wooden pipe. Um, and we'll have 50, quite a lot of those, apparently. Um, uh, how did I do this? So that's, so that's the wooden conductive pipe. Must have already had some in there. Whoops. Uh, and then cobblestone conductive pipe. Let's have a look at this then. Oh, so it can only be stone conductive pipe. Right, okay. Well, that was a bit of a waste then. Well, gives us a chance to show off our... Um, our energy condenser. Um, our... Uh, our this. <laughs> this this thing here. I do like the electro furnaces though. The electric furnaces because they are um, so much faster. I'm just in fact actually what I need to do is um I need to start this uh, I need to start smelting this uh, this rubber. So that can be doing that, and over here then. Yeah, I've got enough. Maybe a little excessive there. So, we come out of the energy link to start with, like so, that's not the right, was that the right way around? Let's have a quick look behind this pipe. So I guess... And that would say to me that's the way you charge it. Because this is all inputs, has, has got that sort of symbol on it. So I'd say that was actually back, oops, back to front. Um, but I'm going to wire it. This is all a little bit of a clusterfuck at the moment. So I guess that isn't right wired the right way round then. I think maybe we were right with that. Um you turn it? Well, it'd help if it was plugged in, that'd be the other thing. So you can't turn it then, let's 
see if we can plonk it this way. So we're going to need some more stone transport pipe. Oh, right, so that automatically becomes output. Hmm. I don't understand. Does it need a uh, a lever or a redstone torch to run it. I'm sure the, the what's his face that I watched said that you could use combustion engines as well. I mean, we're not getting the blue line. That's that's one thing. Power was going up. <clears throat> oh, do you need a higher current? To understand. Mm, power's still going up there. I'm guessing that wiring this one's going to make nothing in the way of odds either. Right, so I'm going to cut away, I'm going to go see what it is I've done wrong, and I will be right back. So, uh, I have been and done a little bit of research, and it seems that I am a complete and utter novice. Uh, I've connected it, to, uh, connected it to everything but what it needs to be connected to. Um... So, this is... I actually just went off and nipped off and did it in creative. And this seemed to work. Um, there we go. That's got it. So, um, let's just take some of this pipe down then and just tidy things up a touch. Um, don't know what we're going to do with our old combustion engines. Be a little bit sad to see them go in all honesty. Oops. We don't really have a use for them anymore. Certainly not for the foreseeable, anyway.
Hmm, it's a bit of a flash in the pan, that, it seems. Um, why did you stop working, then? What am I not doing right here? I mean, quite a lot of things, but... Energy link. Let's get this done bit by bit. So that goes on there, and that's got its... I assume that's the plug-in picture. The input picture. Connect it by wood, let's try that, shall we? Wooden transport, wooden conductive. There we go. Energy everywhere. Cool. That's both quarries working. Loving the work. Now, it's draining electricity at a far more substantial rate than we can provide. So, we're going to need to upgrade solar panels, certainly. Now, is there a way, then, to put a lever on this? To shut it down? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a big one. No, it doesn't seem like you can. Nope, just wants to continuously provide electricity. So, let's have a sleep. And let's see um, what adding the solar panels to it does. These might be mining by daytime only. Yeah, not enough. So, next episode then, we're going to add some more solar panels. Uh, probably have to make this uh, about five and maybe add a couple more wind turbines to it. See how we get on with those. If that doesn't work, then we need to start looking at adding our water mill. Our uh, water farm to the situation. Um, which that does provide a lot of electricity but it comes at quite an initial price it's quite expensive to get it up and running uh, so we'll just quickly before we end the episode just fly around on here um, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the graphics back down a little bit and try and get some of this jerky action out of it pink sheep still here and try yeah, try and smoothen things up a little bit because it's um, it's not loving it in all honesty. Let's just keep an eye on how many we get, and also we need to have a bit of a sort through our inventory or inventory, depending how you want to pronounce that. Um, so let's grab a few more of these and plonk them into the furnace before we go. And the next episode, um, they'll be ready to go. We'll be able to make an absolute shed load of uh, microchips. Which has always been the thing that just slowed us down, is a lack of rubber um, when it comes to creating solar panels. So this should make life quite considerably easier. I think that's it for this. Oh. And that's got to go back in its chest now. For a second. Um, 
and just uh, notch that out. I don't think there's anything else for this particular run. Okay, so we'll pop those in the furnace and then end the episode. Um, so, yes, my name is Nihai Hobo. I thank you very much for joining me. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you want to keep up with the rest of the series. Uh, and I will see you making solar panels next time. Goodbye.